Good morning. Welcome to the prayer for and meditation for Wednesday. I promised you to, to, I would do this on Saturday, but I'd forgotten I, I was doing a live lecture at the same time. So when one can't be two places at once, and I really appreciate Kathy Davis filling in for me that day. Um, what I had said last week that I was going to talk about was love. And maybe not necessarily in the way you think, or maybe it is. Um, I was inspired by the 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. Love is patient and kind, the word patient. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but it rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. And the kind I'm talking about is divine love, that purest form of love. And, you know, we were all born loving, being a loving child of God. Can you say that with me? I am a loving child of God. We are God's children, and we have a birthright that goes with that for divine love. And so what I want you to do today, and, and we're going to think about this, but I want you to think about divine love. Focus on divine love and how it can change you, how it can change what's happening in your life, how it can help you to be more patient, how it can help you to be less fearful, how it can help you to be more focused. Because if you focus on the good, if you focus on the love, and not everything else that's happening in this world right now, you will find yourself in less stress, having more patience, and having a lot more hope for the future. So let's close our eyes and take a deep breath. Now, I would like you to move your thoughts from your head down to your heart. Hold your hand over your heart if you have to. Your heart holds a lot of things. Your heart holds love, but it also holds pain and sadness and ache. Aches for what could be or should be different or should have been or could have been different. It, it holds pain for us in some ways. So what I would like you to do with your hand on your heart is to open up your heart and put in the divine pure love and let that replace everything from the past, all worries about the future, any heartache, any sadness, any fear that your heart holds. Let it go. Just let it go. Open up your heart for divine love. Love that heals. Love that embraces. Love that brings joy. Love that brings peace. Love that brings passion. Love that brings you to the center core of who you are. You are a loving child of God. You deserve no less. You are about love. That is what you're here for. So if you've emptied your heart of, of all of those things you've been carrying on it and let it go. Let it go from your heart. Let it go from your mind. 
let it that love go deeply deeply into your soul so that your soul knows as it's always known you are pure love and nothing that's happened to you in the past and nothing that will happen to you in the future can change that you are God's pure divine love feel yourself surrounded with that divine pure unadulterated love of God knowing that this love can help you be patient can help you eradicate fear can help you become less stressed can help you become more of who you came to be so let's sit with that divine love within and surrounding us behind us ahead of us on top of us below us divine love is there and let's take a couple of minutes just to soak in that divine divine joyful peaceful love Okay, let's take a couple more deep breaths to come back to the now. Feeling ourselves surrounded, surrounded by divine love. God's pure love, God's energy of love. We are loving children of God. So, You've sent this love to your heart. It reminds me of the song, Wash Over My Soul. We washed over our souls this morning and our hearts to empty out everything that we were carrying that we shouldn't have been or that we chose to, but this morning we chose not to. And we opened ourselves for a healing 
a divine healing so that you could release everything that is not love from your heart. Love, basically, is the only power. What is not love is fear. And love is so much more important and wonderful than fear. So I have some affirmations for you now to go about your day. So I will say them three times. Divine love guides me and directs me. And I am open to divine love. Divine love guides me and directs me. I am open to divine love. Divine love restores me and heals every aspect of my life. Divine love restores me and heals every aspect of my life. Divine love restores me and heals every aspect of my life. I am a channel of divine love. I am divine love in action. I am a channel of divine love. I am divine love in action. I am a channel of divine love. I am divine love in action. So I would like you to go into this day feeling well loved and knowing that as you go through this day it will be done with love you will be filled with joy and peace because divine love is what you are you are a loving child of god namaste have a wonderful day